What if you can make a sugar cookie that's crispy outside and chewy inside? Wouldn't that be amazing? Do you like sugar cookies, Teddy? Yes. Good. So this recipe we're going to show you today has a really different texture compared to the shortbread-like sugar cookies that you see in your favorite bakery. This sugar cookie is what? Crispy outside. Crisp, crispy outside. And chewy inside. Chewy, in, chewy inside. Very good. All right, so we're gonna show you that step by step and we'll be here in a second. Elliot and thanks for tuning in to That Girl Siri where I share delicious recipes and tips and tricks in the kitchen. And this is Teddy! <laughs> Alright, so today is about sugar cookies. The chewy version of, of sugar cookies. And we're going to show you step by step on how to make this delicious, delicious cookie. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs> And hit the notification bell so you're not missing out on any of my videos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and don't forget to check out my description below because the recipe is on there too. And everything that you're gonna see today here in my video, equipment wise, will be on there as well. All right, so are we ready? Yeah! All right, let's do this. All right. Now we're going to start off with our unsalted butter and our sugar. We're going to cream these two ingredients together. Now creaming is pretty much what we're doing right now. It's just mixing together your butter and your sugar until it becomes light and airy and fluffy. Now that goes for cakes. You want your cakes to be light, airy, and fluffy. When it comes to cookies, you don't want it light, airy, and fluffy. You don't want to cream this too much because the more you cream it and make it fluffy and light, the more your cookie spreads. The less amount of time you cream it, the chewier your cookie gets. So we don't want to, we don't want the air. We don't want it to be light and fluffy. We just want it creamed together and mixed together. So now we're adding our eggs and we are going to add our vanilla too. Now the eggs tenderizes the dough and the fat in the yolk makes the cookies rich and chewy. And of course the vanilla adds flavor. So we're gonna mix this really well. If you are using your stand mixer, I would recommend using your paddle attachment and set it on medium to low speed. All right, it's looking good. Okay, and we are going to set this aside while we get our flour ready. This is all-purpose flour, and we're adding our baking powder, our baking soda, and our salt. Now salt is really essential in baking. It enhances the flavor of every single ingredient that you have in a recipe. So it's really important not to skip the salt. So we're going to mix all of these together. Just whisk them all together until everything is incorporated well. All right, looking good. And we're gonna add this into our creamed mixture. We're gonna mix this well together. And it may look dry, don't worry about it. All the fat in the eggs, the butter, it's gonna be absorbed in the flour. Just mix it slowly. If you're using a mixer, make sure it's on the lowest speed. Now, 
for our buttermilk. We're going to add it into our dough. The buttermilk reacts with the baking soda and also helps with the leavening. It also adds a softer texture to our cookie and it makes it absolutely delicious and tender. I'm using my hands now because I can mix the dough better without over mixing it. If you're using your mixer, just be mindful. Make sure you're mindful of not over mixing your dough. All right, looking really good. We're gonna set this aside and grab a sheet pan and line it with parchment paper. And we're gonna weigh these babies in three ounce cookie dough balls. We're gonna pop it in our fridge for two hours to 24 hours. And after two hours, we're gonna start baking them. Don't they just look amazing. Now, you gotta wait 10 to 15 minutes for this, guys, before you start eating it. But I promise you, it's worth the wait. Chewy sugar cookies. If you guys like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.